Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool reading, Capricorn. It's deep, it is. Excuse me, I beg your pardon. I hope you guys are all doing well here. And uh, yeah, we have uh, the camera on the oracle cards, right? And uh, we see this little girl here. She's a fairy. And uh, she's up in the air. This is walk with wings. Well, you really can't walk with wings. You know, you can't. I don't really like to say the word uh, can't. Okay, so let's just say uh, it's it's very difficult, right? It is uh, because it's a negative word. Yeah, and your subconscious is listening, right? To you say that you are unable to do things, right? Yeah, you don't do that. Uh, you say that you are uh, strong and able. That's what you do. And so here she is, this cute little cute little fairy. Yeah, I mean, she's like, I don't really know how old she is, but... Uh, no matter, and all these bees are here, interesting, right, bees don't really fly, they levitate, they do, but somebody here needs some type of nurturing, that's what that walk with wings talks about, yeah, it does, we start with a rare bloom, uh, and Capricorn, you are a rare bloom, right, mm -hmm. and here we see, uh, I'm not sure her name, but they're all kind of witches, they are witches, or fairies, or something, uh, but, you know, they're all they're all very sweet and, you know, good they are. And uh, mm -hmm, witches in the beginning, witches were mostly good. They were. There was only, you know, a few uh, bad apples, right? And uh, and that gave, and that, you know, let them kind of hijack. But witches are just, uh, they're just people who can uh, manipulate. Uh, and manipulate is not a bad word. It's not. It's also been kind of hijacked. But it's just that they can maneuver things kind of uh, like like to what to like an ending or a conclusion that they want right it right like oh gee uh, I kind of want you know I want everybody in the village to be abundant right and so you know this is the kind of uh, psychic ability that witches have right so a rare bloom though Capricorn uh, you're a rare bloom and uh, there, this woman is holding up mm -hmm, the witch she's holding up her this little tiny plant and so you're seeing at you're seen as somebody who's very unique right and this is what's in your corner here somebody thinks you're super special right the raven's wand is here it talks about uh they got this beautiful woman here yes yeah, she is and mm -hmm. and here she is uh holding something here but probably a wand and it's hard to see it but she uh is also a witch and so she's holding her wand yeah exactly right and so this talks about somebody who <clears throat> ideally would like to be perfect like i want everything to be perfect but you know what it, that's kind of that's a stretch right it's difficult to do that so let me just do my best yeah and we have walk with wings the same person needs nurturing capricorn i'm not sure if that is you needing the nurturing right I'm not really sure. Maybe you need some honey. There's a lot of bees here. Or there are. And uh, those are honey bees. They are. Mm -hmm. But uh, somebody needs some type of nurturing. And they're trying to do their best because they want to come to you because you're a rare bloom. You are. Family matters is reversed. This person could be dealing with family matters and they are kind of upside down. I feel like they are. I don't see any, uh, any other way to kind of read that. Uh, we could have a look at the book. But uh, I've used this, this deck enough to know that this family matters situation is in the reverse is uh not really good let's see uh if they can offer something else right let's see and this is uh reversed uh it could be well let's see gazing through that crystal everything would appear the same hue and every one divisions would melt away and the only deciding factor between people would be their inner selves imagine looking through that perfect crystal and seeing people for their words and actions not mere appearances, just as they might see you. Yeah, somebody here, they could be dealing with a family. They're seeing whoever they have chosen or whatever situation they're in, they're seeing it clearly now, not the way maybe they, I don't know, chose to see it or something like that, right? They're seeing things very clear. We have psychism. And this is why they're seeing things clear, Capricorn. Here's the, the black cat, and it looks like uh, one of those little... Uh, I forgot what they call those those dogs. They're Chinese. My sister has one, right? Pugs. I think they call them pugs, uh, right? And anyway, uh, here here's a cat. Looks like a dog here, which is really interesting to me. But this is psychism, and this is uh, your psychic abilities. And this is why this person is seeing everything clearly now, because 
they have some psychic abilities, right? Mm -hmm. They do. Excuse me, the goddess is here. And here's this goddess, and she is, mm -hmm. the stars are above her. There's probably 12 stars. Uh, I probably, I think they are, which are the planets. Uh, here's Saturn over here. Uh, and I'm not sure what these other planets are, but whatever is close to the earth, usually, right? And so we have, uh, there's, I think there's nine planets, seven planets that are close to the earth, the, the major planets, right, that affect our everyday life. Uh, mm -hmm. Saturn is one of them, it is. And so the goddess uh, and transcendence, this is somebody who like knows dreams can come true. And they've gone through an awakening they have. Let's have a look at that card here. And here is the swan opening her, her wings very, very big. And she is holding up the universe or she's holding up the world, I should say, the earth. And here is the goddess kind of holding it all, right? Uh, but the, the goose is, or the swan here is uh, assisting. So this is, uh, dreams can come true with the assistance of the universe. For sure it is, right? Here's the moon over here. Let's have a look here at the goddess card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all goddesses over here. We are. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we try every day, right? <laughs> Let's see what it says here. Transcendence, transcendence, karmic purpose, and faith. Dreams can come true. Mm -hmm. Our Lady, the goddess queen of the stars, shines her radiance upon you. As one of her children, you are traveling this universe, fulfilling the dreams of creation. What is your dream? What do you want and what do you wish for? To find one's sole purpose is the quest. How does your quest fit into the myths and legends of your land? Yeah, this person was living some type of a fake myth, maybe in a family. Uh, but you are their wish, Capricorn, uh, definitely. And, uh, mm -hmm. and you are their life purpose. Yeah, it's really beautiful here. You are, Capricorn, all right? And we have the horned God, the horny God, Capricorn. And he could be horny because he's sitting there naked, right? I mean, how very convenient, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he's kind of this red haired. He's supposed to be a Celtic guy, right? With the red hair uh, and his unibrow, right? Mm -hmm. No digs on Celtics. No, got a little bit of that in me too, right? Let's see what we have. You guys know, but uh, his unibrow is, it's, it's not to be accepted, Capricorn. Does your person have a unibrow? <laughs> uh, I say sometimes it looks good on somebody. He's uh, not me for sure, right? I feel like I used to have a little one when I was young. Yeah, I did. Uh, but he has a huge one. Uh, but, you know, he's out in the middle of the enchanted forest, so he doesn't care about shaving. Look at his, he's, uh, he's got a really long, uh, a really long, uh, you know, uh, goatee kind of and mustache yeah and this is about change and a new life because the horned god is life force this is inhibitions life force and joy the root chakra this person is dropping their inhibitions capricorn because you're unique they want their dreams to come true and they have gone they're they're psychic yeah they're just like this little cat who looks like a pug you're like what yeah he's standing in front of the pentacle mm-hmm and interestingly enough, what was the name of that movie where they were showing, uh, they were showing that uh, people in general were all at this meeting here uh, with the pentacle and trying to like, honestly do bad things. But yeah, we're not going to discuss it here, right? Okay, let's see. I wish I could remember the name of that movie, but uh, it was a pretty good movie too. Here's the Horned God. Let's see what this life force is about. Also known by other names such as uh, uh, Cernunus, Hearn, and Dionysus. Yeah, Dionysus was the god. I thought it was the god of wine. It says, is, uh, is god of nature. The horned god is god of nature. Uh, oh, yeah. Also called Dionysus, right? Mm -hmm. The underworld and wild places. Well, I mean, Dionysus is supposed to be the god of wine. So wild places, I can understand uh, the connection or, uh, you know, what they're saying. In ceremony, he is represented by the ram-headed serpent and the stang, a simple wooden staff that has two prongs at his tips. He's holding it here. And we see these people wearing these on their wrists sometimes. Yeah, we do, or we have in the past. Uh, he is represented by the ram-headed serpent and the stang, a simple wooden staff with two prongs at its tip. He is 
a central deity in Wicca. Wicca is witchcraft and is lord of the earth and guardian to the underworld. Mm -hmm. yeah. If the horn god appears, your desires may be out of balance. You may be feeling the need to seek more genuine joy and deeper connectedness in your life by freeing emotions and inhibitions. Your person's leaving something here. Maybe it's a family, you know, it could be, but uh, they need a little bit of nurturing here and uh, they're doing their best here because you're a rare bloom Capricorn. And here they are trying to make their dreams come true and they're trusting their intuition. This is an interesting reading, I have to say it is. Uh, with the goddess, their dreams can come true. They're transcending, it's very beautiful. And they're, they're leaving these inhibitions behind. They're like, oh, screw this, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like your person was unhappy with somebody in the past and here they are coming knowing that you're helping them with their transcendence transcendence and you're helping them with their with their wings capricorn yeah you're helping them with their we're helping them to fly right yeah yeah mm -hmm. i feel it walk with wings you're helping them fly uh and they know it that's why you're a rare bloom it's really it's very it's very nice capricorn it is mm -hmm. tan bueno right for sure uh mm-hmm uh, this is bien simpatico. I feel like it is really beautiful. Let's see what we have for Capricorn, right? <clears throat> we have the test, the servant, and the thaw. The thaw is reversed. This person's going to test this out. They're going to take it. They're going to take a chance. The test is taking a chance, right? You don't know if you're always going to pass the test. You don't know, uh, but it, it doesn't matter. There's courage here, but there's a little, a little bit of uh, nurturing that is needed, but there's courage. Yeah, there is. Because whoever this is sees the beauty at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, or the golden, the gold pot, right? Uh, the golden pot, the pot of gold is really what it, not the golden pot. That's different than the pot of gold. It is. <laughs> if you took, yeah, if you grew up in the United States speaking English, uh, it's not the same, the golden pot and the pot of gold, right? Uh, but they're, this is what they want. I'm making fun of myself, you guys, not anybody else. They want the pot of gold with you guys because they know that you are the pot of gold yeah mm -hmm. and they are intuitive here they know so this is like it's not it's definitely a, a great decision for them because they're trusting their intuition it's not like well i made a logical decision and uh capricorn's the best for me it's not that at all they have the servant crossing them and the thaw reverse we'll talk about that later mm -hmm. let's see what we have for capricorn please and we have The page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles <clears throat> we're going to use this uh, we're going to do a different spread coming into play is an ending the death and a major transformation yeah this is a different spread today and but in the past the past is always over here usually in these readings <clears throat> the queen of pentacles so you are nurturing to this person uh capricorn they saw the fertility in you here's the rabbit or the hare yeah and so they saw the fertility that they could grow with you Mm -hmm, that they could create uh, probably abundance with you and uh, mm -hmm, they saw you were nurturing as well and they saw you were like reliable yeah whoever this is coming they need something reliable <clears throat> they did they do <clears throat> because they already need walk with wings which is hard to do they need a little bit of nurturing and uh, what they're ex what you're expecting or what you want is the strength card so you want them to have courage and they are Capricorn right? They are definitely having courage. I, I, I believe they are. We have the King of Wands and, you know, we start the reading with the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who values something. Here comes a little gnome, right? And he's got like this, uh, I don't know, kind of leaf, olive leaf on his head, uh, whatever it is. And, you know, he's, uh, he's opening his hands to receive the pentacle that the page is giving him. This is a kind of a give and take, but He's coming for something that's valuable. He just walked, you know, far away from the little enchanted forest where all the gnomes and the fairies lived. And the page is handing him that. So this person is coming to offer you this. And they want you to be this gnome, Capricorn. All right. So I need you to be, you know, uh, three foot six and uh, mm -hmm, a little kind of like uh, big legs here. Right. <laughs> uh, but he's the page is offering the gnome the pentacle and here are all these flowers growing like this is going to be uh fertile so this person's offering you this and they want you to accept it and here you are right next door the knight of pentacles 
and you're accepting it. You put your hands up and you, you, you got the pentacle right here. You're accepting it. You are. And you probably, because, you know, I feel like you want this person too. Here's the strength card. And this is in your expectations or, or desires. Uh, I want them to have courage, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody needs courage in this life, right? You need courage to leave your house, right? Because uh, anything can happen, right? It's just, it, you need courage. Everywhere you go is a risk. That's, and I'm not, this is not being down. It's just true, right? You go in your car, it's a risk. Get on a plane, it's a risk. Uh, go to a, 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 an event, it's a risk, especially these days, right? Uh, but, you know, a, anything is an event, and you can't stop living because of it. No, good God, good God, no. And we have the Four of Cups, and this is how you are being affected by somebody else uh, or, like, how it is in, impacting your life. And uh, and this right here, Capricorn, this is how this person is pouring somebody else's cup out, like they're rejecting somebody. They are, and this is why they need nurturing. And so... Uh, this is affecting you because they're going to be ready for love. Yeah, I feel like there's a very cool song. Uh, R&B, Ready for Love. I can't think. I, 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 it's uh, difficult to think of the artist right now, uh, but it's a very, it's an oldie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, which are the most romantic? If you, if you don't know uh, soul old oldies that are soul oldies, right? R&B artists, uh, black artists, uh, then you don't know the best. It's the best in terms of romanticism. Uh, for sure it is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else has their place too, but that is their place. The best uh, romance, for sure it is. So we have uh, Capricorn in the heart of the matter is somebody's offering you something here and both they're being offered in both of these cards yeah and it is the ace of wands they're offering you this ace of wands a passionate new opportunity coming into play in this particular spread is how i'm doing it is an ending and a transformation this person has changed so much because they went through an awakening with the psychism card it's not psychiatry it's not psychiatry capricorn all right no they're not crazy they're psychic it's different it's really interesting how all those uh, psychology and psychism for sure are uh, their sisters, right? Or their brothers. For sure they are. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's, a, that's another uh, discussion for another day. We have an ending coming into play and a transformation as well with judgment. See, for sure this is a transformation and a rebirth. The angel is waking up the dead. So wake up. Wake up and stand up. You're gonna st I'm going to start feeding you. Uh, it's interesting how the baby is fat. <laughs> but that's fine, right? Because the skeletons, are, they're dead, right? But they're getting out and I'm going to feed you. And this is going to be a major transformation. And that's what this is going to do for this person. It's going to nurture them. It's going to feed them and, and feed their soul. And here's a transformation and an awakening and a rebirth coming into play. Wow. I mean, this is really beautiful. This could be an ending. Your person could be stepping away from somebody with the family matters in the reverse. Yeah, they could. And uh, mm, for sure they could be. And uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the past and the Two of Wands. And this is moving forward together. Somebody already made this choice in the past to move forward with you. Yeah. They said Capricorn is my goddess and I'm the horny god. Oh, uh, sorry. It's the horned god, right? Oh, goodness. Here we have the strength card, and this is uh, what you're expecting or what you want. You want them to have courage, and you want to have them to have courage and discern a new beginning with you. Here's the queen twirling the sword, uh, and she's not, yes, yeah, she's twirling the sword, but what she's really twirling is that butterfly for a new beginning. The king of wands is in the near future with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, this is fate and destiny coming into play especially with judgment and the death card here, <clears throat> which is rebirth and transformation. This person's being reborn with transcendence and you're being re and your relationship is being reborn. Yeah. And so we have uh, how you're being affected here is the four of cups. So this, I said this before, they're pouring somebody's cup out the tower and they're, they're pulling down the old, to have the new with you and this is how this is affecting you maybe you felt uh <clears throat> you know it's possible that this is a shocking a powerful realization but 
this person had a powerful realization here, an awakening. So, and you're being affected because they're poor. They're basically leaving their life behind Capricorn. That's really what's going on. The Knight of Swords is going to be how you affect them. So here they are wanting to cut something out of their life because you have impacted them that way to have the Ace of Pentacles with you, Ace of Brand New Beginning in Love. Your hopes and fears, Capricorn, is the Six of Cups. It's reversed. You're hoping they're going to return to you and have the power and the authority. Yes, their own power and the authority, not by any uh, establishment or organization. Good God, no. Their own power, right? Their own awakening, their own power, their own sovereignty. You want them to have this here, and they do. The hermit is in the outcome and let's see what the hermit says. It's with the five of cups. So here they are. Here you are. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a new life with them because they're loyal to you. They picked you, Capricorn, because you lift this person. You give them life force. You're the rare bloom, Capricorn, you are, right? The other day I drove by the... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, by the desert, I was in Vegas and uh, where nothing nothing much grows. You know, my daughter introduced me to Joshua trees. I feel like they have those Joshua trees uh, showing up in these biblical books, right? Yeah, it's a little tree that doesn't really look like a North American tree that much. It's part desert looking and part, I mean, that's what Vegas is anyway, or Nevada. It's part Northern Hemisphere with the snow and yeah, it is. And then that's the Reno side or, you know, and then, you know, the other part is just pure desert, right? Where you can't really grow things, right? It's just kind of sand. It really is. But here, Capricorn, uh, I don't know who we got into that, right? <laughs> but <coughs> this person's coming with knowledge, <coughs> an awakening, spiritual wisdom, and they're being loyal to you. And the Five of Cups is here with it. They're suffering some, some type of an ending. I feel like they are. We're going to find out about this person though, Capricorn, in the extended, because we're going to have the Tree of Life Oracle on them, which is always very philosophical and very deep. It is. Here they are taking a test. This is their card. The test is, could be testing the waters with you, but I feel like it's more like I'm going to do this and I hope I pass. I hope it ends up really well for me. Crossing them is the servant. This is going to be a 10 card spread. Plus we're going to have their uh, their tarot spread and we're going to show a different spread for them their advice what they're focusing on what they're leaving behind right uh what's in their corner to assist them yeah it's going to be that spread uh amongst other kind of placements and you know and information or insight i should say but the test is being uh either challenged or supported by the servant capricorn the servant this could be them serving themselves finally because your person's coming from some codependent, I didn't matter much in the past, my happiness really didn't matter, I could have been with the wrong person, I could have been doing my life the way my family told me to do it, just stuff like that, right? Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one, it could be It could be D, all of the above, it could. Uh, but the servant, I feel like they are serving themselves and it is both a challenge and a supporting card because they're the supporting themselves and living the life they want, which is with you, is uh, building them up and making them stronger uh, and more resilient and happier and, uh, and just grounded, right? With the psychism and transcendence and the life force. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it is a support and a challenge and the thaws reversed. It could be that they are kind of transcending here and they're coming out of something very, very cold. The thaw in the upright is, some, is trying to make something warmer. Uh, and this could be, it could be a divorce for some. It could, right? That is, uh, first uh, they have to, just first they could be, they're taking a couple steps here. But this is a, about a huge change in transformation and it's for beauty and love. And it is to be with you. It is Capricorn. We're getting on the reading. Uh, yeah, they're all super affordable. I have the extended link in the description box below. Of course, we're going to find out how they feel about you, Capricorn. We are. Uh, but I feel like we're seeing that. But uh, we're going to find out much more about them. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.